in other news, did you see that um, they're going to be doing Lethal Weapon 5? They are actually going to be doing it now, and Mel Gibson is going to direct it? Oh, God. <laughs> well, come on. You know, he does... He does star in all those movies, and he and and as much as I detest Mel Gibson, um, he is a very good film director. He is. I'm not sure this is the kind of film he would um, excel at, though. Particularly, um, why not? He starred. He starred in four of them. He knows what he's doing. No, yeah, but just more, I. I think more who'd, of his. Who'd have thought I'd ever be defending Mel Gibson, right? I know. I just when I think of Mal Gibson's directed films, I think of more like big epic films. You know, he kind of does uh, rather than something like this. Uh, He's done a few action movies, um, but yeah, I mean, Richard Donner did did the four. Obviously, Richard Donner passed away this year earlier on at the age of ninety one. Um, we did a top five Richard Donner films just afterwards. We'll put a link to to that in the description below if you want to check out that article. Um, I don't think any of the Lethal Weapons films were in it. Maybe the first one. The first one's always the best. I, I used to like Lethal Weapon 1 and Lethal Weapon 2. Lethal Weapon 3 was okay. We got a bit silly. And Lethal Weapon 4, yeah. like we've said before quite a few times, when they get to the fourth installment beyond that, these films tend to tank downwards at rapid speed. But... And that's why this one doesn't sound that interesting, well, to be honest. No, it doesn't. I mean, like... he's, he's quite old now in terms of being running around and being an action guy and, you know, jumping off buildings or shooting the bad guys by, you know, flying through the air, shooting guns and all that stuff. Uh, I mean, I, I assume Danny Glover's back. I don't know whether um, all the rest of them are, you know, Chris Rock, Joe Pesci, um, Renny Russo, but... Um, there we go, I suppose. It um, seems a strange choice as well because um, they've just recently done that um, TV series, haven't they, of Lethal Weapon? Um, yeah, never saw it. Wasn't was really interested in it, personally. I wasn't interested, but I, I know a couple of people who have watched it who said it was very good. Oh, right. Um, surprisingly. It didn't um, run for very long, though. Um, I think they kind of... They did a few series and then they've rebooted it with, with other actors as well, I I, I think. Okay. But, um, Weird. It's so still been uh, quite good. So it seems strange that if they tried to reboot it, why then going back again to go, mm-hmm. okay, we're going to do five now. It's just like not quite sure. But, you know, we've heard about Beverly Hills Cop as well, uh, another 80s kind of cop franchise they wanted to bring back. And, yeah. Um, it's just like, I don't think they'll work. I don't think just no. leave them be. It's like they were big hits for these for these actors back in the day obviously Mel Gibson Danny Glover they had massive hit with the first couple of Lethal Weapon films Eddie Murphy had a massive hit with Beverly Hills Cop and as we've discussed before he did uh, the second installment of Coming to America recently that uh, was kind of I didn't think it was that great um, but yeah I don't know I mean the whole thing about Lethal Weapon if you think back to it even in that one Danny Glover's character was like I'm getting too old for this well now it's like yeah. you know <sighs> You are too old You're for this. Too You're old definitely for too old for this. <laughs> what the hell, dude? Yeah, so I'm not expecting big things. Obviously, I won't write it off completely. I mean, as I've just admitted, I don't like Mel Gibson very much. But back when I was younger and Mel was younger, I used to love the Lethal Weapon films. I loved Mad Max. I loved Lethal Weapon. I loved most of Mel Gibson films back in the day when he had the 80s mullet and he was like fresh-faced Mel before we, we knew what a sinister son of a bitch he, he, he is, you know what I mean? And I'm sorry, but he is. He's not a nice guy. And um, that's kind of why I don't like him now, you know. Even though I will say he's very talented, he's very good at making films. Um, but whether this one will be any good or not, who knows? 